Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come your way and spend a few moments in the Word of God and prayer. This week, I want us to address a very important and perhaps a troubling area in the church and the body of Christ at large. And that has to do with strange doctrines. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 7 through 9, says, Remember those who rule over you, who have spoken the word of God to you, whose faith follow, considering the outcome of their conduct. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Verse 9, Do not be cared about with various and strange doctrines. For it is good that the heart be established by grace, not with foods which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. So the writer of Hebrews here is uh, encouraging believers. He's saying, remember those who have spoken the word of God to you. Follow their faith and look at the outcome of their life. And then he, in the middle of that, he says, look at Jesus. He's unchanging. The same yesterday, today, and forever. And then he says, verse 9, Don't be carried about with various and strange doctrines. For he says, you know, for the heart to be established, you need good food. Otherwise, these strange doctrines are like foods which have not profited those who take them in. So, strange doctrines is a problem in the church today. Many pulpits are uh, spend a lot of time talking about things that are not essential, things that have more to do with matters outside the, of the Word of God, and whole congregations and masses of Christians are swayed by these things, and, and you wonder whatever happened to the preaching and the teaching of the Word of God with pulpits so preoccupied with other things to these days. So what we're going to do this week is not talk about the strange doctrines, but talk about what the Bible does tell us to focus on. So that you as a believer, that we as believers in our listening to the Word of God, will choose these kinds of preaching and teaching that are aligned to the instruction of the Word of God and do away with various and diverse Um, strange doctrines, which actually is like eating bad food. It's not good for you and could potentially destroy you. The first thing that we must look at in the preaching and the teaching of the Word of God is to make sure that it is Jesus-focused and cross-centered. So when you listen to the preaching that comes from any pulpit, The first question to ask is, is it Jesus-centered? Is it it Jesus-focused and cross-centered? The Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 1, 23, he said, we preach Christ crucified. In 2 Corinthians 4 and 5, he said, we do not preach ourselves, but Christ Jesus, the Lord. Is the preaching and the teaching of the Word of God pointing us to Jesus Christ? And is it emphasizing the cross of Jesus, what Jesus did on the cross and why he did it and how we need to relate to his finished work on the cross. If that is missing, then you need to question what you're hearing and avoid diverse and strange doctrines which are not useful for you spiritually and could also potentially destroy you. Is the preaching, the teaching, the word, Jesus-focused, cross-centered? The first criteria. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will help us discern what's happening in the church today and what we feed our spirits with. May we be wise and discerning to receive the ministry of the word that is Jesus-focused, cross-centered, pointing us to the finished work of Christ on the cross. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.